Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Playing this game is kind of like opening up the fridge and seeing if there's anything good to eat. Like, there's been some new updates to this game. Like, there's a new area that I haven't checked out. Actually, it's not a new area, but there's like some new thing that we can do with the pool. And then Raiburu is not like a mindless, soulless robot no more that acts like Terminator 2.0. You can kind of trick her and manipulate her to do things that you want instead of her just like being on Osana's butt cheeks. And also, there's an Easter egg that I haven't checked out. So, we're going to check that out right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready you buckle up because here we go all right so the first easter egg we're gonna check is called hollow mode and maybe it's gonna be a representation of how i feel five out of seven days of the week but obviously it's not it's a person that i've never seen before but she has a sword though she got a big ass freaking sword though that we're gonna use on this girl oh, i mean i'm running like i'm about to see a chiropractor in about 10 seconds but yeah you know do a little stabby stabby there little slashy slashy there but yeah this is the easter egg it's called hollow mode it sure is hollow so it is true to the name but let's get on to the other thing i can't even get out because she's killing everybody it's automatic like she just stabbing me i'm not even pressing anything i am literally just standing here and she is just bloodthirsty for ass so one major difference is that osana is never gonna be alone like there's never gonna be any privacy because people are always chatting up a storm they're always gossiping they're always talking shit and what the hell is this what the heck is this i've never seen this before look like cock and ball like one singular ball at the base and then just like you know a little, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, Osana is never gonna be alone. Like, there's always gonna be people in the hallway at any given time just talking. Yes, we can get Raiburu away, but not during events, I believe. But yeah, look, there's people over here. And then once we get up, there's people over there. Like, there's people every freaking where. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fast forward through this scripted event. And then I'm gonna talk to Raiburu. We're gonna have a little conversation. Let me talk to you real quick. Can I talk to you for a moment? I would just like to um, talk to you about um, violence. I hate violence. Hi, Raiburu. Gosh, I really hate violence. Can you relate to that at all? Well, we have so much in common. Amazing cat. So this is how we can get Osana by herself. So all we're going to do is ask her a favor. We're going to ask her to distract somebody who's far away. Somebody in a land far, far away. Let's ask her to distract Great Value Bijou Mike. And then she's going to run away. And while she's running away... You know what your boy's gonna do. I'm gonna get the trank to get that skank. I mean, the syringe uh, that make him cringe. I don't even know what I'm trying to rhyme about anymore. But all I know is I got the syringe. And what the hell is she not doing? She not distracting nobody? Hold on. Why are you disobeying my orders? All right, fine. You can distract your crush, Budo. Please go ask this person if they have a crush 91. Text me their answer later. Wait, what did you say? Hey, she's talking mad shit. Oh, no, she left. So now that Raiburu's gone, we actually can't get Osana by herself because there's people there. There's people there. There's Sin Daddy over there. Raiburu's actually coming back. That was a quick-ass conversation, my G. Hold on. Tell Let's get her away again. Oh, boy. whoops. My bad. Um, Hold on. excuse me? My bad. My bad. My bad. I was just chilling here. Actually, I have an idea that I think might work. Remember when I said that there's a thing that we can do with the pool that I haven't checked out? It's in this room right here. There's a pool's closed sign. So what I'm going to try to do... I'm going to ask Raiburu to distract somebody, and then I'm going to place this sign right in front so she can't come over here. I think it's, like, right here? There you go. Students will now avoid the pool. So once they see this sign, it's like a barrier. Oh, and by the way, there's a statue of the headmaster right here, as you guys can see, standing big and tall. And it says, what does that say? It says, fuck boy. All right, so we got to make this really quick. So we're going to ask for a favor. We are going to ask you to distract, I don't even freaking know, um, not you. Let's uh, ask you to distract somebody in the science club. So you have to go up to the third floor. Please go ask this person if they have a question on anyone. Text me their answer later. This is embarrassing, but I owe you one, so I'll do it. Yeah, you talk to me about violence, and we have so much in common. Can you Sorry, please follow me? Why won't you follow me? Right Why won't your ass follow me? Sorry, you can't do that right now. You're hanging out with a friend. Right Who, Casper? You know what? I know this is all over the place right now, but I just got an idea real quick. So let me talk to her. Let me ask her to follow me. I still have the syringe in my hand, so maybe I can kidnap Raiburu, turn her into a mind slave, use her against Osana, and then eliminate her that way. Because the fact that we can now get Raiburu to follow us, maybe we can turn her into a useful ally, but she needs to hurry her candy ass up. Come on, get over here. I got the tranquilizer, right? Or do I not? I do have the train. Oh, I don't have the tranquilizer, but I have the syringe. I am stupid. I'm sorry, everybody. I haven't played this game in so long. I'm literally turning to a little fuck nugget. But I think I have to jack her keys, right? Or what do I have to do? How do I get this shit? What is this? The sedative. How do I get the sedative? Excuse me, ma'am? Big booty Judy, how do I get this thing? Like, how do I get this? I don't know. I don't know how I get this, but I think that I can just get a sedative from Infochon. Did what I say sedative? What is up with me? Why am I speaking all proper and shit? What's going on with me? Hold on, let's get a drop. 
and then let's get the sedative, and then we're gonna get Raibu. All right, now everything's starting to make sense. I haven't played this in over a month, but your boys just get in the rust off, okay? I'm putting some WD-40 on my shit, and I'm gonna be a well-oiled machine in no time. All right, we don't have much time, so I'm gonna need you to get in here, please. Come on. So the door's closed, and the follower's valid. Syringe is held, and get her. No! Why? I was so freaking excited. Her back was turned to me. This bitch got spidey senses, man. And I thought she hates violence. She's a big bag of cap. She just broke my arm in three different places. Okay, so I can actually give Raiburu a snack. So this is what I'm gonna do. Give her a snack real quick. The vending machine gave me an extra bag. Would you like it? Free food? Sure, I'll take it. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna get rid of Raiburu. She's gonna eat the salty, delicious bag Water of chip boost. And what the Back hell, off. man? One-eyed freaks, I tell you. They're always the worst. They always got the worst attitude and the worst eyesight. So she's gonna get some water, hmm. and that's what I'm talking about. She's gonna get electrocuted, and that's how I get rid of her. All right, let's do it. I'm telling you all, the key to somebody's heart, give them free food. Nobody's ever gonna turn it down. I promise you. Wait, where are you going? Hey, Raiburu, Raiburu, Raiburu. No, wait, right here, Raiburu. There's a fountain. Raiburu, Raiburu. What the hell are you doing, Raiburu? Is she gonna go to the second floor one? If she is, I'm gonna be so angry. Oh, wait, where's she going? She liked the chipu so much, she's gonna get another bag. She went to the middle freaking fountain. She went to the middle freaking fountain. I'm so done. I'm about to throw this game out the freaking window. And I know a lot of people are wondering if I even care about this game still since I barely play it now. And to be honest, if the game gets finished, it gets finished. If it doesn't, then that's cool with me. Like, I'm just here for the vibes. Like, I'm just here to have a good time. Like, I don't take it that serious. Like, if this game ever gets done, then I'm like, all right, cool. Like, there's going to be 10 full rivals. Each of them are going to be unique and fun in their own ways. And if it never gets done, I'm like, hey, it was a period of time where this game was in our lives. It was cool. It had all the potential in the world, but it was just never complete. I'm not going to ride on the streets with a pitchfork and a shield and be like where's my yandere simulator like it's not that serious to me but here's what we're gonna do we are gonna send osana for your mama to the locker and then we are gonna give raiburu the chipus and for real it's action time now you know what would have been crazy if raiburu was programmed by yandere dev to notice the sabotage little outlet plugged in right by the fountain and she avoids it like that would have been crazy that actually would have been crazy i would have given yandere dev a lot of props but we sabotage that and I forgot to cause a leak, didn't I? Wow, I deserve two red clown noses, to be honest. And I promise you, if you're cringing because I can't get this shit right, I'm cringing hmm. 10 times as hard because I'm so disappointed in myself. So let's sabotage this. And I didn't mean to have the purple hair. I actually pressed the wrong button on the hmm. keyboard and I was too lazy to cycle through all the hairstyles. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna keep this purple Barney shits on our head. And we do look like more of a clown, so it is fitting. Take the chipus. Free food, sure, I'll take it. Okay, and I need you to go to the second floor right now and do your freaking thing. Hold on. She's walking. What the? Are you kidding me? Yo, I'm so weak, bro. I'm so weak. I cannot believe this bullshit. Okay, so now she's gonna go to the fountain. That was my fault. I sabotaged the water fountain, but I didn't sabotage this. Wait, what? No! What are you? Oh, I was about to say. Somebody's gonna notice the body, but that doesn't even matter. We took care of Raiburu. So now let's see if we can do this. Um, hold on. She's not gonna follow me, is she? Can I get her to follow me? Hey, follow me. I want to show you something cool. Okay, lead the way. All right, perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so we can just eliminate her real easy, like, because there's nobody here, right? Look, nobody's here. It's clear as day. I'm cleared for takeoff. Houston, we don't have a problem. Boom! All right, we got that ass. So, um, I made a mistake. I should have actually killed her by that sewer. I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. Oh my god, I'm a freaking Muran, dude. I am a freaking Muran. Let me see if I can still get away with this. Need a crowbar? What in the world? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna fight the delinquent. Maybe I can still get away with this. Who has the crowbar? Hold on, which one of you bitches has the crowbar again? Crowbar asshole. Um, it's you. Okay, so let's attack this guy. Come on, come on. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? Dude, I just wanted the crowbar, dog. I guess I gotta take care of the gang. Gotta take care of the little delinquent gang. So let's take care of his nuts. And not in that way, what the hell? Oh my god, bro. I'm just trying to get the crowbar, bro. Just let me get the freaking crowbar. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, Kyuji Kanagawa found a corpse. Well, you better keep that shit to yourself. All right, give me the crowbar. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? Bro, let's go. Let's freaking go. You know what? I'm done with this bullshit. Everybody's gonna freaking die today. Everybody's going in the sewer. Oh my god. Never mind. This is ridiculous, bro. Bro, I literally just got a conga line of people just coming from my freaking cheeks, dog. And just so I don't get anything linked back to me, I can't throw that in there? Yo, why can't I throw that in there? 
Okay, fine. You want to play that way? I'm just going to throw this inside of the sewer then. You don't want me to put it inside the vat of acid? Then fine. I'm going to put it in the sewer. So let's leave this in here for now. All right, I don't know where else to get a crowbar. That's why I'm trying to start a fight, fight with this two-time and hussy. Let's go. But let's block this attack. <gasps> Boom. Punch him in the throat. <gasps> Kick him in the dick. Boom. And that's how you get a crowbar. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm going to open that up. And can we dump it? It said I could dump it. Wait, it said I could dump it. It said I could take a fat dump in there. I saw it. What? It said that I can dump it. You guys saw that thing, right? It said something dump. Okay, I guess I can't take that dump right now. You know what I was thinking? What if when you make friends with people in this game, as you pass by them, they just say hi to you? It's not gonna make a big difference in the game, but it gives a little bit of life to it. Like, say for example, I make friends with this pink-haired girl. I forgot her name. And then when I walk by her, she's like, hey, Yanchan, and you know? Not like say hi, but she's just like waving to you. So you know who's friends in this game. Like, who's your friends? Who's your enemies? I think that it would just be like a nice, subtle change in this game. Like, say this guy doesn't like you, and then he looks at you, and then he just looks down at the floor, or he like he gives you a mean look. He just gives you like a shit-eating stare. So I'm gonna give you the snack, and then she's gonna die by electrocution. I know, I just said that casually, right? Like, this game makes me evil. I think I'm just evil in general. Like, I'm an evil person. But anyway, no more talking about friends and enemies. Let's cook that ass. And she only gets electrocuted after she's done drinking the stuff. That's pretty weird to me. But yeah, I'm gonna let them find the body, and before anything else happens, we gotta get rid of Osana real quick. So what I'm gonna do... Um, hold on. I actually have to do something real quick. I have to get that raincoat, right? Or can I just wash my uniform? You know what? I'm just gonna wash my uniform. It's a new mechanic in the game, you know, using the washing machine. So I made a giant circle, didn't I? All right, so let's talk to you. Wait, she's busy with an event? You know, I could technically get her right here. Nobody's here. All right, so let me get that ass. Mm! And then let's pick that ass up, put her inside the locker, and then since I'm by the bathroom, might as well just mop this up, right? Yeah, no big deal, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's fill up this bucket, and then put the bleach, dip this bad boy in here, and let's get our Cinderella on, bitches, so let's do that. There you go, okay, spick and span, and then let's do a little bit of that, okay. And then we gotta dump the water. So your boy is really gonna get away with this. Hold on, we just gotta be very careful. There's so many people around. Oh my goodness, just get me to the freaking washing machine. Just get my whole ass to the washing machine. Wait, uh, what? What the hell? Okay, oh my god, I gotta make it. Damn, there's the student council girl. So I gotta make it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait for her to go upstairs. Is there anybody here? Yon Vision, you know? Gotta use it to my advantage. And there you go, okay. So let's make our way over. Nobody's over here as well. I have 80% sanity, but nobody's gonna notice anything. So let me change my clothes real quick, and then we're gonna wash our uniform. I wish I could wash the bloody weapon. Can I? No? Okay, so we're gonna wash that. And while that's in the timer, let me see if I can throw my bloody weapon inside of the sewer, because that shit would be clutch. I can't dump evidence. All right, so we dump that, and I guess I don't need to do this? Yeah, I don't need to do that. So let's insert that in there. And I'm actually surprised nobody found Raiburu's body. That shit's chilling right there. What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> but now that I got rid of Raibaru and Osana, I'm gonna do another mechanic that's been added into this game, which is to snitch on yourself so you don't get suspicion on yourself. Ayano informs a faculty member that something alarming is present at school. The faculty member confirms that Ayano is telling the truth. The faculty member immediately calls the police. The faculty member informs the rest of the faculty about our discovery. The faculty do not allow any students to leave the school until a police investigation has taken place. The police arrive at school. The police find the corpses of Osana and Raibaru. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. And the police question all the students in the school, including Ayano, but they can't link her to any crimes. Let's freaking go! Senpai is devastated, but we don't give a double doggy style damn about that. As long as we got away with the murder using methods that didn't have to do with the scripted event. But that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. I just wanted to see how we were gonna eliminate Osana without using any of the scripted events, and we did just that. If you guys want me to make any more videos on this game once it's updated in the future, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that. Dude!